Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to dehydrate you. I may have come up with a new invention here. Oh, mm. we're doing it. That's what I'm whooping these things into. We're just winging it here. One got away. Can't do a video here without the dog. There's no donut setting. wonder if you could put jelly in a dehydrator. Where was I going with that? Oh, that one's falling apart already. Huh. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I thought it would be fun to dehydrate. Dehydrate Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I said Dunkin' Donuts. Who would have thunk? Dunkin' Donuts dehydrated. Let's see how it works out. I've got my dehydrator here. Wait for it. My Dunkin' Donuts here. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to dehydrate you. It's crazy, I know. Who would have thought? Dunkin' Donuts. Let's start cutting these donuts up. I've got my handy dandy tiny little cutting board here. My dehydrator here which I probably should move this so I can just put these in there. And I'll move these because we don't, I don't think we're going to need these. All right, let's get these out of here. I don't think we're going to need them. This should be interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the donuts up and put them on the trays and then we're going to just let it, let the dehydrator do all the work. What should we start with first? Let me show you the one that I got to eat. You can't go to Dunkin' Donuts without getting yourself a donut. Look at how cute that is. It's a little spider. Isn't that cute? Now, I did get different types of donuts. We have the chocolate, double chocolate covered frosting donut. We have, I wanted to try a jelly filled donut just to see what it would do. So we have a jelly filled donut. And then I have this other frosted donut. I got mostly, these two are like cakey form. This one is not. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. What should we cut up first? I cut these kind of thin. Well, yeah, probably. Oh, gee. I got my thumb. I got my thumb. Probably like that. And then I'm just going to lay them on there. Just lay them on there like that. How should I do this? You know what? We're just winging it here. And I know there's frosting. There's frosting in the middle of this. And I really want it to be on the top. And I broke that. That one's an eater. Well, we'll just wing it. So we'll just cut this up. Now, I would like it to be longer, so we'll just cut that a long piece, and then we'll just cut that in half. There. We'll just stick them on the dehydrator and see what they do. I mean, hey, why not? Why not? Did you know that Dunkin' Donuts has like a ghost pepper donut? I did not know that until recently when I got these. And the lady rung it up wrong which thank you Dunkin' Donuts. This one might not be cakey. I don't think this is a cakey donut. This is like a doughy donut. Yeah, this is not a cakey donut. That's okay. We're gonna try it out. But where was I going with that? Oh, the lady at Dunkin' Donuts rang my order up wrong, so I got at least $5. And I did say to her, I said, $5 for all these donuts? And she said, oh, yeah, go ahead, take them. She was ringing up somebody's drink order, rang the drink order up instead of the donut order up and said, yeah, go ahead, five bucks. I hope that, I hope the guy didn't have to pay for my donuts. I'm sure he didn't. But thank you, Dunkin' Donuts, for that. I'm going to cut that one just a little narrower. Oh, I cut all the frosting off. Turn it over. There. Some of them are bigger than others, but that's okay. And I'll try not to eat all these in the while they're, you know, dehydrating. But there's no guarantee. There's no promise there. All right, this is our jelly-filled donut. And I don't remember what kind. It might be like, it's the blue one. Blue. That's, that's red. I think it's red. So this is not a cake donut. See, there's a little bit in there. This might not. Oh, see the jelly starting to come out. I wonder if you could put jelly in a dehydrator. We're doing it. We're doing it. It doesn't matter whether we can do it or not. We're doing it. See how it's coming out the bottom? I don't want it. I'm going to just scoop all that out of there and just put it right on top of the donut. You know what? I may have come up with a new invention here. Well, actually, it's not my invention. We're going to give credit here where credit is due on this great invention. Roland from Getting It Done North of Seven, he dehydrated, I don't remember what kind, he dehydrated Tim Horton's donuts, I think. I don't know. I'll link his video in my description. You want to see him dehydrating those donuts? Now, see how that's just going to go right in the dehydrator and be delicious. I know. All right, let's do another tray. Oh, again, uh, we don't need these things. 
All right. My sink is right behind me. That's what I'm whooping these things into. And also when you dehydrate, these have little like thingies here, little tabs. Make sure they all go down or you'll have to refill your trays. It'll be backwards. You don't want backwards. All right, we're safe. There's not much in that one. Look at that. That's going to be a nice one. They had slim pickings there today. I went, I went in the afternoon and that's not really the time to go get donuts, but that's when I woke up. Well, I didn't wake up in the afternoon, but by the time I got up and drank the coffee and did all the things I needed to do, it was afternoon. Again, we're going to take, take that out of there. Yeah, and put it here. Rob doesn't know I'm doing this. So, he also doesn't know that I got him a ghost pepper donut. And we were doing a ghost pepper challenge video when he gets home. He's not aware of that either. He likes when I surprise him with things. Well, you know what? There's so much on that one. I get a, I bet you I could put some on this one. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll move some over. To We're just going to see if jelly can go in the dehydrator. May have started a trend here. Who knows? All right, let's put some of you on that one. There. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll see. We will see. We will see. All right, chocolate. Let's do the chocolate next. We'll just slices. Just slices. Let's just do slices this time and see. Because I, I do, I would rather have this chocolate frosting on this side. Because I don't want it to run down the dehydrator and make a mess. So we're going to just hope that happens. See this frosting? I'm going to try to get some of it off. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Just throwing them on there as they are. If they make a mess, we'll just clean it up. You know, it's no big deal. Messes are like made to, I don't, I don't know even where I was going with that one. There's a saying about messes. I don't really know what it is right now. All right, let's put the last one on its own tray. Now, when you dehydrate, you have to leave all your trays in there because it gets better airflow. I'll tell you that much. All right, we'll just do the same here and just hope that the, hope it stays like hope that frosting dehydrates into the donut, not into the dehydrator. Maybe we could stick. No, see, he's good. He's good to go that way. This might be really good to dip in your coffee. Yep. I am a coffee drinker, and in the morning, if they last to the morning, I could dip them in my coffee, and that would be great. Oh, mm, we are not done. Mm, hold on. I got some donut holes I forgot about. Not done. Not done. These are cakey. And some of them are apple cinnamon and some of them are pumpkin. Probably that's the apple one because it's got like cinnamon on it and that's the pumpkin. There goes the dog. Can't do a video here without the dog. We're just going to cut these in half. Yeah, those are going to go in half and lay that way. Just right in half. Boom. Right in half. These might be delicious. This might be really good. Oh yeah, that's the pumpkin. I could smell it. I'm not really a big, big, oh, that one's falling apart already. Mm. I'll just eat it. All right, what I was saying, I'm not really a big, big fan of pumpkin. Not, not really, but I can handle a little bit. I know, crazy, it's pumpkin season. Everybody probably likes, which one is that? That's the apple. Everybody probably likes pumpkin. I can't be the only one in the world that doesn't like the pumpkin, though. I'd rather eat me a pumpkin pie. When I was little, my grandma used to make me pumpkin pies for my birthday. Yep, that's what I wanted. Didn't want cake. I wanted pumpkin pie. There we go. How many I got? I have three left in this bag. And I'm going to save this for Rob when he gets home. He might like the nice surprise of a donut. Oh, here we got them. One got away. We had a runner. We had a runner. All right, there we go. Dunkin' Donuts in the dehydrator. Let's see how this works. It might be really good. I may have started a trend. Well, actually, Roland again. Roland started the trend. Roland and Beth over getting it done north of seven. Yeah, they started the trend. Don't shake it. All right. All right, we will be right back. I have them in my food dehydrator. There is, on the top of the Nesco food dehydrator, there's food settings for fruits, nuts, vegetables, whatever you're doing. There's no donut setting, so we're going to guess. See, there's like 
no donut setting. So we're going to set it at, let's see, maybe something lower to start with because I don't want the frosting to melt all over my dehydrator. So we're going to try setting it low to see if that will help that problem. All right, it's plugged in. It's running. We will check back in in a couple hours just to, just to see how this does. I'll be back. Well, it's the next day. These are, I let them run all night, and I imagine they probably didn't need to. But oh, wait till you see what I did. These look so good. They are hard and crunchy. These are hard. Now, my plan is to eat these in the morning dipped in coffee. Look at this one. Let me see. There you go. Look what I just made. Look at that. So jelly, the jelly donut, it does dehydrate. Holy cow. And that is going to be a delicious coffee dipper. Let's keep going here. It worked on this one too. Let's see, there. And I don't have a mess in my dehydrator. Look at that. Can Dunkin' Donuts donuts be dehydrated? Yeah, they can. And they're hard. They are hard. Let me see. Now, I have dental work I just had done, so I'm, you're going to hear this, but. Mmm. Oh, so crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crunchy, and it's good. It tastes, it actually tastes better than the actual donut. Let me dip some in some coffee and we'll see how that goes. Shine, everybody, today shine. Make it today a shineful day. I don't, I don't know. Make it however you want to make it. But be happy today. Choose happiness. All right, let's dip this in here. Let's see. It's a dipper. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm-mm. That made it even better. I promise you this is good. Let's try a jelly one. While I'm here, we'll just keep eating the donuts. We'll dip it. And it's not even falling apart in there. It's like a, oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm eating this. Yes, I am. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This is really, really good. Mmm. I wish I could chew better, but Hold on. I have dental work. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how they soften up. We'll go back to the little one that I ate. We'll give it a dip. I'll just leave it in there for a minute. I don't know if you could see, but it, it, it'll soften up enough. This is actually cold coffee too, by the way. But see there watch see how that softens but it doesn't fall apart in your coffee and that's that's what we like Dunkin Donuts you can be dehydrated everybody head to their local donut shop Dunkin Donuts and uh, dehydrate some donuts all right I will see you in my next video bye <music>